is CBS 5 News, telling it like it is. A transgender man wants a divorce. Thomas Beatty is the same man who made headlines in 2007 when he gave birth. He and his wife moved to Arizona last year, and now they want to split. But an Arizona judge is refusing to grant the divorce because he believes this is a same-sex union, which is not recognized in the state of Arizona. Joining me now to talk more about this controversy and what's next is David Michael Cantor. He is the attorney representing Beatty. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Okay, let's walk people through exactly what's happening here. So this is a gentleman who was born a woman. He had a state authorized sex change to become a man. He then married his wife in 2003 after providing legal documents showing that he is a man. It was granted uh, in Hawaii. Now they've moved here and they've decided that it's not working out. They want a divorce, but Arizona is not allowing that. Why is that? Well, basically in Hawaii, they have a sex change statute that's virtually identical to Arizona. Once uh, Thomas had the sex change operation, uh, he was allowed to change his birth certificate legally, uh, also his driver's license, also his federal passport. In Hawaii, they allowed him to marry. Then he but eventually... But why wouldn't he just get a divorce in Hawaii then? Well, he wouldn't get a divorce in Hawaii because his residency is now in Arizona. He's moved here. He'd have to move back to Hawaii and wait a certain period of time, 60 to 90 days, to file for divorce. They live here now. Both have agreed they want a divorce. The problem is if the judge does not grant this divorce and annuls the marriage, in essence, their children will become illegitimate. Well, so what is the sticking point? Because he has all the documents showing that he is legally considered a man. Does he have a womb? Well, in the statutes in Arizona and California, uh, childbearing is not the critical issue. If you have a mastectomy, an upper body uh, operation, and a doctor signs the note, that's enough to be qualified as a male. He happened to have childbearing organs, so it's a new issue, and the judge is trying to figure out whether he has jurisdiction or not. This is new ground. So does the judge feel then that because he biologically gave birth to these children, at the time he was considered the mother of these children giving birth to them, he's considering it in his mind a same-sex marriage. Is that the sticking point here? Yes, he's looking at Webster's Dictionary, which defines a female as being childbearing. Uh, also, he's looking at um, the fact that uh, he has to have a statutory basis for this marriage to be valid. Well, he does. It happens to be in the Arizona statute. Uh, a sex change operation does not mandate that you can't also be childbearing if you go from woman to man. I know it sounds odd, but that's the statutory uh, issue that's involved. So what happens if the judge refuses to grant this divorce? Well, then we simply uh, go up and appeal it to the Court of Appeals and we go beyond there. But ultimately, if the divorce is not granted, then there's no spousal maintenance or alimony paid to Thomas's wife, and the kids will now be illegitimate. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is terrible. Thomas and his ex-wife just want to be treated as two people who are married and now got a divorce just like everybody else has gotten a divorce. When is the judge expected to make that decision? August 30th or later. Okay, we'll be watching for that. Thank you, uh, Thank Mr. You. Cantor. We appreciate you joining us and helping to clear things up for us.